got no stomach. Yeah. Every time we have sex, she always asks me for a honor. I ask her if she wants. So I feel like this is a good place. I done I've done two major um albums through DTP and Def Jam. One was called Supply and Demand. With play a circuit, the other was called Flight 360. Some of you guys may be familiar with the jam we had um, in 07 called Duffel Bad Boys with Tunchi. Yeah. And so that kind of was like the introduction on a larger scale, besides the stuff we were doing locally, you feel me? Um I and before that, you know, me and Wayne had a great relationship, you know, I've been just each experience so based participated in, I learned something from it and kind of grew and became the artist that people, you know, know me as today as two chains, you feel me? As far as the name change, let me just because everybody's asking me that. Yeah. I never officially changed my name. My name Titty Boy was a name that, you know, it wasn't a, like it was a name that came from my, my household. It was just it just is what it is. My my mom called me Titty my my pop called me Titty Man. It's like a, it's a slang term for being a spoiled brat. I'm an only child, you know what I mean? So this is just something that stuck. So when it was time for the music to pop, it was just I was just going by Tit or whatever, you know, that was natural for me. And all of my music and the Supply and Demand album, Flight 360, and all those compositions, I, I used to say Titty 2 Chains and all of that. So I just really think it was the timing with the lack of it just being a lot of music out in Atlanta for whatever reasons, you know, Luda, Luda was working. Jesus was working, T.I. was incarcerated, you know, Gucci. So it just, like, left a, a obvious, like, lane open, you dig? So people started paying more attention in my eyes. And, you know, to some people, it could have been an excuse on why they didn't, you know, give Titty a chance because of the name. But whatever it is, you know what I mean? If you check the resume, I've been going pretty hard for a minute. And two chains is just, like, kind of the way I deliver it and said before I, I rap, I think it just made it kind of kid-friendly. Not just networking skills, it's just to show, um, Basically, what I can do on my own without the assistance of a label, that's one thing. On this mixtape right here, I got a feature from, like I told you earlier, Raekwon, Jadakus, um, Krayshawn. Uh, I got a song with, with uh, Yo Gotti, Jeezy, and Birdman. So, I think I put together, I got a joint with me and Meek, I think gonna do pretty well, you feel me? So, I just feel, I feel like I'm just able to do that just to show, you know, my range and to show where I'm at musically and then at the same time I'm having fun. Although it's a mixtape, I learned I learned how to really conform it into making big bucks. Like you you've been you a fixture in this game, why not? Mm. Young nigga like me and doing it by myself, showing the type of things mm. I can do on my own independently. I know what you can do, man. I yeah, mean, you do. I know what you can do. This this ain't about me and you, this for no, no, I feel you, I feel you. Feel That's why I said I know why you did it. So you know, the, the, the text I just sent Shorty was, was, man, this some bullshit. Because this shit, I done told folks, you on my shit, and this shit, like, damn. You know what I mean? It was a funny gesture, but it was like, damn. And her reply was, really? You feel me? Like, my text with her was like, damn, Shorty, you really, like, I ain't realize you was popping, but people don't know she been, like, supporting my campaign. Okay. Like, like she reached out to me when spinning was hot. Like, she got, you know, gasoline. I got songs called Gas. I got, like, songs that y'all probably don't even notice on my mixtape that she, she she rocks to daily, puts it on Twitter. This before she get a check, that deal. Okay. So, you know, that's the type of person I know people to so know me. Relationship like, before. Yeah, it's already a reach out. Mr. Okay. Fabbit already told me, this little white girl fuck with you hard. She do video. These folks about to give up. Bad. I'm not even knowing all this. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, they got this vision for it. You know how it is when people have, like, I got my own vision, so I'm not even understand. Like, you know, Shorty really like a blessed individual who just did some shit and it popped for it. You feel yeah, me? Like, my shit been a different mm -hmm. process. I'm a step by step nigga, so I appreciate it a little bit different than niggas. That's why I reach out and do, like, she ain't have to do nothing to get them. I done yeah. spent over 100000 this year in my own pocket. Yeah. My own video. Every video a nigga ever seen me shoot. Every mixtape you ever picked up, every shirt you bought online, a cup, I had to pay for that shit. So I don't have a different feeling. I like, feel when it's outcome like this, I feel like my money is, work, is working. Well spent. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying? Well spent. So I'm able to show rain by doing shit with niggas like Raekwon, who people don't know. Me and him has had a rapport for five, six years, because he on the south side of Atlanta. People don't know that. Uh, people really just don't know my relationship with a nigga like Jeezy back, you know what I mean, back, you know, for years now, but, you know, but prior to the whole BML, Big Meech move, you know, that whole campaign, me just being around for all that type of shit. So when I put together some shit like this, this really, I feel like I could sell it to a nigga for a couple of M's. That's yeah. how I feel. Yeah, once you pay the features and the production on here, that's what it's going to run, and, and, and give me what I want. Yeah. yeah. And then guess what? If you don't get it to me, I'm cool. 
If I'm lying, I'm flying. I got my 121st show tomorrow in Cincinnati this year. Niggas that got deals ain't getting it like that, period. Mm -hmm. If I was getting 500 a show, and you know I ain't getting that. That's she what. asked me, do I want it? I say, when I Hi. went to school, bitch, money, what a subject. I'm riding around, I'm getting it. I'm 